Welcome back to another walk around and test drive at Coyote Classics. I'm Dalton, that's my father, Chad, and today we're gonna check out and test drive this 1966 Chevelle convertible. Just a really good car. I picked this one up in uh, Des Moines, Iowa. The guy who we bought it from has owned this car since 1986. It's a long wow. time he had it. It's a really long time, B. Uh, 283, power steering, power brakes. Still's got the manifolds on it. Nice big aluminum radiator. I mean, just a good, solid original car. He did tell me that uh, Within the last couple of years, he did a frame off for the paint by, took the you know frame off and um, blasted, painted that, did all new uh, paint. Floors nice are job. awesome in this one as well. Make sure you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com. Check out how nice the floors, frame, and trunk is on it. Um, and I love when you do a frame off like this, when you take all the pieces off, the fenders, the doors, the hood, mm -hmm. all the jams, paint is just as nice as the rest of the exterior paint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good looking car. Sure is. I like that he chose just to leave it as a Malibu D. Yeah. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Didn't do the SS hood. So it's kind of nice to see that once in a while. We put the brand new American Racing Chrome Torque Thrust wheels, brand new BFG tires all the way around. Um, looks like he did all the bright work for the most part too. Um, the bumper is in excellent shape. Looks like he went ahead and replaced this piece of trim here. Mm -hmm. It's like the, the grill, grill could, could be, be original, original mm -hmm. but it's nice. It is. It's a small little paint around here. Paint's gorgeous on it from front to back. Yeah. I'd classify this one's definitely a you know nice local car show car. But just very original. The dash and stuff like that's all original still. And that's the thing I kind of want to talk to real quick when you're done with that, D. Really straight up and down the sides. Not much for a paint imperfection to point out. There's a small scratch here that I think could be buffed out. Go ahead and put the top partially up, will we? Mm -hmm. Just have a power top. Yep. And he did say he uh, went ahead and he replaced the, uh, the pump and stuff for the power top here recently yeah, as well. Yeah, lines are new too. You can see that in the trunk picture. Top goes up well. And it looks like the canvas is new on it as well. It's really a nice shape. Looks like it's going to fit good too, ain't yeah. it? Might as well keep it up for today in case we get a little sprinkle. Nah, yeah. that could be fun to have it down. Again, really straight. Back bumper looks good. It's got dual exhaust. And a really nice sound. That was the first thing I noticed when he fired it up in his garage and pulled out. Just love the way that exhaust sounds. No one ever filled in these factory seam lines. Those are still there and look good. Package tray area looks great. I noticed that passenger door just fit perfect. Um, driver's door in the top just has just a little taller gap on the very top of it than the bottom. But uh, for the most part, all the gaps are great on this original mile car. There. And like you said right away, I kind of like that he just left it uh, Malibu. He didn't try to super sport clone it. Um, just left the car what it is, just a good old original Chevelle convertible. Oh, should I miss the door jam on the other side? Got in too big of a hurry. <clears throat> door panels look good. Looks like the armrest bases are original, but still in pretty good shape. Door jam paint's awesome. Corner of the door's rust free. Here's what I was talking about. Remember the first time we took this for mm -hmm. a spin? We're like, how far do we want to go? Um, this is all the original stuff. It's a 126,000 mile car before it was restored. So this is all original still. So if a guy wants to just spruce it up a little bit, you can get all these knobs and these bezels um, mm -hmm. from Original Parts Place, uh, Original Parts Group, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Parts Place, Stanic Automotive, any of those places will have that in stock. And it's stuff that you can do yourself, bolt yeah. on, bolt, bolt off. Yeah. We decided to leave it because everything works and it just is original, you know, it kind of speaks originality. And instead of doing it and raising the price, you know, if the next guy wants it, then they can do it. It's pretty easy stuff. Seat backs look good. Um, you know, Here's one thing I noticed, E, and like I said, just remind your salesman here, um, we need to put a piece of chrome on this door here, or on this uh, seat back, sorry. Good note, yeah, if you want that done, talk to your salesman, we do have a shop here. We'll make sure we get that done. Uh, back seat's in good shape, uh, sort of the rear rear door panels. Got the original Fisher seat belts too. 
And this carpet, would you say that's maybe original carpet? This has some fade. It is original carpet. Yeah. We dyed a little bit. It, you know, carpet and those bezels are really the only thing in the interior. Don't show the jam on your side. Yeah, really thing. The only thing in the interior that needs restored. Door jams are absolutely perfect. Paint is awesome. Corners of the doors are rust free, which doesn't surprise me. You know, after we looked at those floor pans. Same thing in the door jams here. Tastefully done. Um, I don't think you shut your door all the way. Starts good. The gas gauge works. Horn works. Does have tilt wheel, which is nice. Yep. Two speed wipers. Heater, Heater fan, fan works good. Oh, no. Even that was still works. It's just very original that. It's awesome. The long term. That's why we didn't want to mess with it. You know what I mean? Even the paint in here is all original. The glove box light works. Health reporting comes from the mid Iowa. That's a nice car, D. And in fact, and it appears to me a factory buckets council car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does not have the little nipple on the column. So nope. it wasn't a I'm column sure shift car. Highly option convertible, really. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah, okay, with steering, brakes, console, tilt. Imagine what a nice set of wheels. I mean, this is such a great car. It just had a, a set of hubcaps and original, uh, original style rims on it. Just changed the whole look of the car. Oh, yeah. That's the thing, you know, that's, that's neat. If anyone ever you know, wants to change the whole look of their car, I mean, rims make a big difference, and they're not, uh, not terribly expensive. Nice three runs, runs great. Don't it, it does. It runs awesome. Uh, factory two-speed power glide transmission is what it come with. Brakes are good. Steering's nice and straight. Idle's great. Hey, if you're watching this video, thank you so much for sounding to us. Uh, you took care, great care of the Chevelle. The guy's got the kick down adjusted in right with his two-speed power glide. Kicks in about 65, 70. Hey, how, how it goes down the road, just beautiful, doesn't it? Here's your brakes. Now, you got four-wheel drum brakes. They are power, and they stop beautiful. I wouldn't mess with it you know, mess with putting yep. desk or anything like that on if they stop and work great. Yeah, just a, nice and quiet too. Just exactly what you'd expect with an original mile, you know, good car that's been with the same owner for a long time. You know, those cars are always the best, it seems. Yeah, it's just a 283 four barrel, but it gets up, to, gets up and goes. 65 mile an hour right there, kicking into second. Suspension feels great, steering's good. I really like this one. I mean, all the way to the original AM radio work. They just want a quality car. It is. Check it out on the website, coyoteclassics.com. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.